UFC returned Saturday night to stage UFC Vegas 25 featuring a light heavyweight bout between former title contender Dominic Reyes, taking on rising sensation Yuri Prohaska and MMA on the go has the results. Starting with the prelims, Felipe Colares was given the unanimous decision victory over Luke Sanders after a high-paced back-and-forth battle through three rounds. The fight saw both featherweights have strong moments, even sometimes coming close to ending their bout. Sanders hurt Colares early in the first round, knocking him down with a left cross. Colares was able to come back later in the round, putting together his own shots later in the frame which clearly hurt Sanders. Felipe Cabo Colares! Andreas Mikhailidis outlanded KB Bular through three rounds to earn his first UFC victory via scorecards. Mikhailidis kept a faster pace than Bular during the fight. He started fast in the first round, unloading with wailing hooks that backed Bular up. Mikhailita slowed down in the latter half of the fight, although he remained the leader in exchanges. Both fighters were entering the fight after losing their UFC debut last year. Decision from Athens, Greece, Andres, the Spartan Mihailidis. Loma Lukbunmi earned her second consecutive UFC win on the prelims, defeating Sam Hughes in a unanimous decision performance. The fight showed a well-rounded skill set from Lukbunmi, who competed on the feet and on the ground. Lukbunmi was able to land takedowns from the clinch position in the first round. The fight shifted more towards striking in the second half, where Lukbunmi was able to do damage in clinch positions with knees and punches. Loma Lukbunmi! Luana Carolina was given her first win since her return last year, defeating Poliana Botelio in a close split decision fight. Carolina's win saw her make somewhat of a comeback, battling back from a first round that went the way of Botelio. Botelio had the better start to the fight, being able to control Carolina on the ground for the first five minutes. Carolina started to take the fight over in the second round, taking more control of the fight and landing strikes. Luana! TJ Brown prevailed in a fast-paced battle against Kaikamaka 3 via split decision on Saturday, the impressive showing for the featherweights, which many on the UFC broadcast declared to be a fight of the night contender, included fast stand-up battles on the feet in every round. The fight opened with the featherweights engaging in a high-intensity striking exchanges. Both fighters were able to stun each other in the second round, although it was a shot from Kamaka 3 that dropped Brown during the round. Brown was able to put pressure on Kamaka 3 while on his back, looking for a Kimura from the position. Downtown TJ Brown! Luana Pinheiro's UFC debut came to an unfortunate end in the first round, as an illegal upkick she took from Ronda Marcos made the referee up to stop the fight. The strawweight match was ruled a disqualification, handing Pinheiro her first win in the promotion. The illegal kick from Marcos came while she was grounded, laying on her back. It connected with Pinheiro, who was on her knees in the moment. Before we finish the video, if you enjoyed this content, like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to get the latest videos from MMA on the go. Mirab Divalishvili's persistent pace of striking and takedowns earned him a unanimous decision win against Cody Stammen to kick off the main card. Divalishvili's success came from an overwhelming pace of strikes on the feet through all three rounds. As he is known for, Divalishvili also scored numerous takedowns in the fight. He often used the positions on the ground to land punches. Stammen was able to take dominant positions on the ground with takedowns, although Divalishvili would stay active from the bottom with hammerfist punches to the head and body. Mirab, the machine, Sean Strickland's pressure on the feet earned him a decision victory against Christoph Jotko on Saturday. Strickland was given the win by judges due to his ability to consistently push forward with strikes that backed Jocko up during the entire 15-minute contest. Strickland now has three wins since making the move up to middleweight last year. The UFC veteran made his return to the cage in the fall, picking up a win over Jack Marshman and Brendan Allen within a two-week space. Sean After Ian Q. Teleba had a hot start in his fight and Dustin Jacoby looked better in the later rounds, the light heavyweight settled with a split draw on Saturday night. The fight went from Q. Laba having a dominant first round to slowing down in the following two rounds as fatigue set in. Q. Teleba was aggressive in the first round, pressuring Jacoby with strikes. Q. Teleba did damage against the cage, scoring with elbows to Jacoby while in a clinch position. Q. 
Teleba slowed down significantly in the second round, allowing Jacoby to open up with more of his own strikes on the feet. Giga Shikaje picked up a big win in his quickly growing UFC win streak, stopping veteran Cub Swanson in the first round with strikes. Shikaje's win saw him drop Swanson with a body kick, allowing him to land a few punches on the ground before the referee stopped the fight. Shikaje now has six wins since he entered the UFC in 2019. The 32-year-old's win was his first appearance of the year, following up on a busy 2020 that saw him pick up four wins. Yuri Prohaska's back-and-forth main event fight against Dominic Reyes came to an end late in the second round, as he connected with a spinning back elbow for a knockout victory. The win wrapped up a fight that saw both light heavyweight contenders land a high volume of strikes and get visibly rocked at points. Prohaska's spinning back elbow finish came quickly during a combination late in the second round. The fighters were exchanging with blows against the cage shortly after getting up from grappling on the ground. Yuri Demisa Prohaska!